So I was kind of thinking to myself the other day, basically, what was the one iPhone that I basically hated more than any other device? Now, hate is a strong word, but I really did not like this device. But it's funny because this iPhone has actually gone down in price quite a bit that it may actually be kind of a decent pickup in the used market. And I don't think it's a bad iPhone anymore. And this is the iPhone SE third generation. Now, brand new, I think this iPhone is a complete ripoff. I think $429 for this type of iPhone is not worth it at all. And you can buy literally any other iPhone over $200 in the used market. And that's probably going to be a better iPhone that you're going to be buying. However, in the used market, I've been seeing some of these iPhones, you know, some of these iPhone SE3s, go for about $190 all the way up to about maybe like $250. You know, there's, you know, on eBay, for example, the first listed price is $270. There's some that are $220, $200 to $230. So you can get them for all sorts of different price ranges. But I would say if you're lucky, you may be able to get them for around $200, maybe up until like $230, $250. But here's the thing. That price tag for that type of iPhone actually is not that bad. My original gripe and the main issue I had with the iPhone SE 3 was never even that it was outdated looking or that it was whatever. It was always that price tag. It was just such an overpriced phone. Case in point, the iPhone 14. I don't think the iPhone 14 is a bad phone. I don't think it's a waste of money. It is kind of a waste of money, to be honest. Let's use the iPhone 14 Pro as an example. I think the 14 Pro is a really, really good phone, and I think it has a ton of value. But if that iPhone was sold for $2,000, that would be a complete ripoff, and that would probably be one of the worst iPhones you can buy, considering that the iPhone 13 Pro is available in the used market for like $600. So it's always with price. It's always with the price tag. With the iPhone SA3, if it originally came out for $300 or $349 or something like that, that would have been a completely different story. But for it to be more expensive than its predecessor, which it brought even less than what the predecessor brought, that is an insane thing in my opinion. So I will probably say, now that the iPhone SE 3 has been out for about a year now, if you're in the market and you want to buy an iPhone that's probably, you know, not necessarily the most expensive thing in the world, but can give you a decent, you know, performance per dollar, I would say, this is probably one of the cheapest iPhones you can buy that has the A15 bonding chip inside. I mean, this thing kind of almost has the same chipset, like almost as the iPhone 13 and maybe even the iPhone 14 as well. I mean, I think it is almost the same thing as those. So you're still getting a very, very fast phone. The only things you're kind of limited in is probably the camera, the screen, and the battery life. But other than that, this is still a very fast phone. And if you're wanting a phone that's still going to be kind of there for you for many years to come, this is probably a decent option. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.